Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. TikToks about this and I was like you know what I'm putting that in a video because if I were you I would want to know okay what are out of everything Sam does in a day or in a week or monthly what are the things she really loves I wrote down all of my tips and let's get into how I actually had a health glow up the first tip really is waking up without checking social media and don't check it for a while don't wake up and you're like okay well I woke up and I didn't check it now I'm gonna make coffee and check it like actually go about your day not looking at how other people are living their life but how you want to live your life so i think that doing that is like it's a small tip but it actually makes a difference and you're gonna feel the difference and you're going to notice that on days you do slip up and check your phone right away that it messes with you and i don't just mean social media i mean emails work all of that because sometimes we'll wake up so excited my daughter will be cuddling us in bed relaxing which doesn't happen often as a parent and we get up and i like will check an email and something in the email bothers me or it's a new task that i have to do that i got from work and now i'm only focused on that and not like making eggs with my daughter and like playing around like we always do it's like that killed the moment my second tip is keeping promises to yourself those are the most important promises so i grew up with a family of entrepreneurs and everybody from my dad's side of the family to my mom's side of the family it was really like hammered into me that you have to keep your promises to other people if they say we're meeting at 12 p.m you be there five minutes early like they were that kind of family like you have to keep your promises to people and when i got older i realized was overall that's generally good advice like being a good human but it also kind of made me become a people pleaser where i'm more worried and concerned about pleasing other people in my life than always me like i feel like i eat last so once i moved across the country that was another life-changing thing i think i had a huge glow up in my life leaving my nest so my nest was a small town in new york where i knew every single person there removing myself from everything that i knew and connections i had there and started from the bottom somewhere else i feel like that was such a huge glow up for me that's when i really started to prioritize that i need to make promises to myself first if you want to eat healthier guess what it's up to you if you want to achieve your goals guess what it's up to you if you don't like the people in your life if you don't like the relationship you're in if you don't like who you are it's up to you to be the change to make the change so no one's gonna help you and force you no one's ever gonna come in and be your boss when it comes to you know your self-development and all that it's really up to you it's very rewarding too because i feel like the more work you put into it the more you get out and the more you see okay so my third tip is something else that i learned later in my 20s and really kind of forced me when i became a mom so i had my daughter at 29 so i, I guess i'd say like maybe a couple years before that 27 no 27 i was still a people pleaser <laughs> probably around 28 when i found out i was pregnant and what i realized is work hours like set work hours equal boundaries so when i first started my career i was available 24 7. no matter what happened even when my father died guys like no matter what happened in my life i felt like i had to be there to show up and although i did take a couple days off when my dad died like looking back if i wanted to take the month off that's what i should have done but i felt like i still had to show up and looking back i was just trying to do what was best for me and like find my normalcy like i just didn't want to be sad and crying all day i wanted to do what was normal for me it was a really hard time for me and that's when i just buried myself in work and i felt like i was a bit of a workaholic i didn't have set boundaries with work i didn't have set work hours it was just like anytime someone needed me i would be there or i would be answering or over accommodating for other people's schedules over mine and i get that this might not apply to everybody's tips because maybe you do have set work hours and it's nine to five and that's that and when you leave no one bothers you but anybody that has work hours where you make your own hours or even if you have a job that is set hours but people will reach out to you after work hours 
I realized having my daughter that that is not possible, that it takes time away from her. And even just like things with my own mental health, like really like my life is being lived for somebody else or something else and it's not being lived how I want to live. And time is such a valuable thing because it's when you're doing one thing, you're taking time away from something else. So if I'm making a video edit, then I'm taking time away from my daughter. So really like these are my times I can work. These are my times that I can do a brand deal meeting. If it falls out of those times, then we're gonna have to schedule another day because these are my work hours. Being a mom definitely gave me that confidence. I don't know if I wasn't a mom, if I would have that confidence if i would even have the realization that it was an issue being a mom sort of illuminated that for me long story short what i realized is when i created work hours that's actually when i created boundaries okay so this actually brings me to my next one which my og subscribers can appreciate and my fourth glow up tip i really feel like i had a glow up my channel had a glow up my development had a glow up when i started cooking so if you guys remember from the very beginning when i started my health and fitness channel that my husband did all the cooking he would make like chicken breasts and tacos and all sorts of stuff for us on our diets when we were first trying to lose weight together and we would go to the gym together and at this time the only thing i was like making by myself was smoothies <laughs> i remember it was when we moved across the country so again there it is moving across the country away from everything i knew forced me to do other things I saw this recipe on Instagram and I just thought, like cooking always intimidated me. Maybe because I saw my grandma cooking for 10 hours and I'm like, there's no way I'm doing that. Um, but I saw this recipe on Instagram or maybe it was Pinterest and I just thought that looks pretty easy. I'm gonna attempt it. I made it and it came out really good. There was no disaster. And from there, it just gave me the confidence to make more and more things. And I started being the cook of our household and I still am till this day. I find such joy in cooking for my family. I find joy in cooking for myself, but there's just a different joy that I find cooking for my baby and my husband and seeing us all enjoy a meal that I cook. And that's why I love doing Green Chef. This video is in collaboration with Green Chef. I do use Green Chef once a month. A lot of you guys already know that. And I love their keto plan and their paleo plan. But you guys should check them out. They have keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian. They have something for everybody. And basically it's a USDA certified organic company. And they deliver the meal straight to your door with vibrant, beautiful meals, menus that you put everything together. The menus are step by step easy to follow trust me and they also helped me learn to cook like i would follow the steps and i would cook even if you're an experienced cook you will learn something new or how to prepare something or how to marinate something with green chef you don't have to do grocery shopping you don't have to plan the meal all you have to do is put it together and cook it definitely check out green chef i will leave everything in my description box and if you go to greenchef.us slash samo100 and use code samo100 a hundred dollars off including free shipping off your first order so I'll have all of that down below what did I write down next so my fifth tip is 10,000 steps a day challenge I'm somebody I love challenges this might not work for everybody but it's something that I really enjoy you guys know on my channel and I do want to bring it back for fall I want to bring back monthly challenges and I think November would be a really great one because I don't know September it's like almost Halloween time it's almost October and I feel like October has this whole glow up with like everything pumpkin and you're decorating your house and the weather's so fantastic and then you get into November and you're just like November is actually my birthday but I always wanted my birthday to be in October like I always wanted to be a pumpkin spice latte baby and so I think I'm going to be doing a challenge then I like to create challenges I like to have something that I'm aiming towards and doing and I think it can be ex exciting and that's when I started the 10,000 steps a day challenge and that doesn't mean you have to hit it every single day but it's just something that I'm aiming for by the way I keep track of the steps in my phone um, just like on the health app I use it just gets you to think of things differently like when I park at Whole Foods sometimes I'm like you know what I need to get my steps in so I'm gonna park a little further and walk and it just gets me to think like that or if my daughter is in a mood and she's a little cranky I'm like you know what let's go on a walk and I stroll her around and I'm getting my steps in and she's getting to be with nature and nature is so great for babies so I just feel like it just gets me to think about moving my body you know when people say make your bed every day and it's the one thing you did 
and it just makes you feel good because it's checking off something on your list and it's one accomplishment already first thing in the morning. Well, that's how 10,000 steps is for me. That at the end of the day, no matter what happened, I'm like, yeah, but I moved my body and I feel really good. So my next two tips, I kind of like to mention them at the same time because at one time I considered them the same thing, but now I'm treating them different. So this is tip six and seven. So tip six is to journal, and then tip seven is to meditate. Pre-pandemic, when I was going to a lot of workout classes and this and that and yoga, I went to a meditation class, and the first time I went, I was like, a friend dragged me, and I literally mean dragged me, and I was like, I don't know if I wanna go, like that sounds really boring, and it completely changed my life in a weird way and then when I went home I wasn't able to like meditate that same way like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going to this class I went a couple more times and then the pandemic happened everything stopped and I stopped like doing it at home or practicing different techniques so that's definitely something I want to get back into for now I'm just listening to YouTube videos on meditation but I would love to get into a class and do it in a group setting there, so many people have talked about the benefits of meditating and how it really is amazing. And it's, I know so many people that are obsessed with it to the point where they can't even start their day without meditating. Or it, it's almost like what a green juice is for me, how a green juice can be a real pick me up. That's how meditation is for people. And I think you've really hit your self-development level. Like it's always a journey. Working on yourself is always a journey. You're never like there, it's not a destination. But I do feel like when you've mastered meditation or at least the art of it and know how to, it's such an accomplishment. And then my last tip, I think I switched the tips, but is journaling. Sometimes getting your thoughts down, putting what it is you want into words. You might say something that you want or you think you want something, but then when you write it down, you realize it's not what you want and you figured out what you do want. It can kind of be hard to explain to me what journaling is for me, but sometimes I can't even make a video without writing down what I want to say first and I can't express how I'm feeling or the kind of content I want to make until I write it down. And I realized how powerful journals are for me, how fast I go through them because I will literally fill a journal and I'm not one of those people that starts, you know, dear diary and I start about my day. It's more like, in the moment in the feeling like oh i want to express like i had a thought or i have a goal i want to achieve why do i want to achieve this i need to put this down on paper to figure it out i can't always figure out everything that i'm trying to express in my head but once i get that pen to paper it like all comes out and all starts making sense and brings so much more clarity to my life so yeah those were all of my tips my seven tips of how i got my health and wellness glow up you could say what i really learned in the past six years seven years in seven tips so <laughs> however long this video is i condense like seven years six years and just different life experiences that happened to me and put them all into tips that weren't like have a green juice or or have some pretty water just like actual things that will make you feel good as a person and i've mentioned this in my videos before but i'm mentioning it again in case anybody is new but another goal of mine is to always strive to bring you value that no matter what my video is or talking about that you took at least one tip then i feel like i i don't know achieved my life goal for the day have an awesome day and i'll see you guys soon bye